Hello my dear Gemini friends, this is your astrologist Sandeep Kataria and we are going to look at 2014 at a glance and the important trends this year brings for you. The position of the planets shows that you will adopt a very intellectual approach in general and specifically to carry on your work related activities. You would be absolutely clear that what path to take and how to tackle a particular situation or a challenge. In case you find yourself at a crossroad, you will immediately know which way to go. You will be positively charged and are likely to travel, enjoy good food and have an overall smooth 2014. However, this is not to say that everything would be a bed of roses. Your work will demand discipline, hard work and very structured working. At times, this work will become challenging and you may have to put in long working hours. There could also be some very heated arguments at the workplace or you may meet some very tough persons. It is expected that you may not be always keeping your cool. Therefore, you should try out some hobby some yoga or some meditation so that you do not buckle up under the pressure. Also, while facing the challenges and tough people, remind yourself that the, at the end, the, the goals are going to get you beautiful rewards. Another important thing is that due to the presence of Ketu in your house of gains, do not expect 100% rewards. That means your input-output ratio will not be very proportionate. Also some of your friends may get themselves disassociated with you or disconnect with you. Do not blame yourself for any reason because it's just a play of the planets. So get up, plan and take action. This is a time when you can do better in life than what you have done or achieved in all the years till now. On the financial front, you are likely to face some hurdles in the first few months. But by the year end, everything will be smooth. Just focus on your goals. Be active, rather be proactive and you will have everything what you plan yourself. Let us talk about the earnings and gains first. There is Ketu in your 11th house, which suggests that the inflow of money is going to be quite restricted. The cash will come, but it will come in smaller amounts than you expect it to. Therefore, this might hold you back as far as your business growth is concerned. But don't worry. If you look around, you have wealth, you have money in your bank account. Use that to run your business smoothly. At the same time, you should not be indulging into purchase of luxury items or splurging money. Wait for some time and you will definitely get a lot of money. With regards to your career, you will use your sharp intelligence to discharge your responsibilities. Actually, I am hinting at a message from the planets that there will be a lot of challenges and the working environment will be tough. But the situation will improve slowly and steadily uh, from July and August 2014 onwards. So keep encouraging yourself that every challenge is an opportunity in itself and every adverse situation is a learning opportunity making you more experienced and strong. The crucial point is that your hard work and skills should produce results. The first quarter, uh, which means January, February, March and bit of April 2014 uh, is likely to be a little delicate and not so favorable on the matters of love. Therefore, do not be over adventurous with your current partner or try your luck with new relationship. This is a delicate period when the chances of the breakup are quite strong. Mid-April onwards, this is a good period 
for initiating the relationship. For married couples, this year promises to be a good one. You are expected to be on the same frequency. You are expected to go out on holidays or couple of other things together. But there is a condition. You should be the first person to take care of the interests and the priorities of your spouse. As long as these priorities or interests are taken care of, you will be more than rewarded, I assure you. Overall, this is a good year for you to indulge in the matters of love, sentiments and heart. You will enjoy a peaceful, a romantic and harmonious life together. First of all the tips, now be ready to move the mountain. Am I scaring you? No. In other words, you have huge work waiting to be finished by you. You have a lot of responsibilities waiting to come on your shoulders. Therefore, from the very beginning of the year itself, uh, do a very proper planning, budgeting and scheduling for your time, money and other resources. For example, uh, you would like to chalk out uh, a daily routine and follow it throughout the year. What I need to say is, drop by drop, you can make a huge contribution towards finishing off your work and progressing further and further in life. The same applies to your finances also. Please spend every penny, every unit of your money very carefully and spread it throughout the year. Now, all work and no play is not a good idea. So, I would request that you take occasionally time off from your work, spend good quality time with your family members so that they are happy and you are able to rejuvenate yourself. Keep yourself fit because I do see a lot of traveling and long distance traveling for you uh, in the current year. Now the astrological advice. Keep your mental vision very clear. And the best thing would be that uh, you clear your house of any clutter. It could be in the form of electronic items or clothes or other consumer items uh, which you haven't used for more than six months now. Give them, gift them, sell them, throw them, whatever. But they should not be in your house, your office, your car uh, or your warehouse. Uh, be nice to your employees, especially your juniors. And if you have a factory, be very nice to your factory workers. In the evening, light a mustard oil lamp under a people tree. Offer one chapati or a piece of bread to a stray dog. Now these are very generalized reading based on your zodiac sign. And I would be very happy if you consult us for your personalized readings by contacting us on any of the numbers given below or sending an email to us. With this, I wish you all the very best in a very prosperous life.